The day I quit my job is a story I don't believe I've shared before, and I would love to share that with you today. The thing that you fear the most is the thing that you need to do the most. And when you face the fear, when you take massive action and you face the fear that you've got to, to face up to and you take that action, whether it is maybe start your business, whether it is invest the first time, whether it is quit your job, whether it is start a relationship, whatever it is in your life, something that you fear so much, when you overcome that, it can lead you down a path that you've maybe always wanted and you're going to feel so much more experiences of, of fulfillment and joy and the passion that you really have for life when you overcome those fearful times and i'm recording this today because this is actually uh, the day we've just finished an event okay so we've this weekend has been our uh, mastermind and event weekend where i invite people into the warehouse Come into the warehouse, spend some time with me, whether that's going through a workshop, whether it's going through a mastermind, when we talk to one another, we learn from each other's experiences and we learn from each other's journeys and our stories. And this would never have been possible if it wasn't for the moment, the day I actually quit my job. So the thing I feared the most, which was quitting my job, being able to overcome that, walk in the office, explain to my senior engineer, because I was an electrical engineer at the time, explain to him that I have to take this leap right now. And I don't know what the future holds, but I've got the faith that I, I committed to this. I believe in this. I'm going to take massive action and make it happen. No matter what it takes, I'm going to make it happen. It's led me to the opportunity now to, we moved out into the warehouse and today I've had people, this weekend I've had people travel five hours and six hours and seven hours to spend some time in the warehouse with me and it's completely, it's, it's in many ways it's very overwhelming to think that somebody's invested, you know, seven hours each way, five hours each way to spend their time, their money to come here. And it all was a moment in time where I committed I'm going to quit my job. So by the end of the video, I'm going to hopefully inspire you and motivate you to keep pushing in your journey, wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing right now, whether you're right at the start and you're confused and you don't know what to do and you don't know what's right and what's wrong and you're stumbling your way through your path, wherever it is, you're doing the right thing, you're learning, you're building your story out. So this was actually the beginning of December 2015 and I was coming to a crossroads. We had sold, we, we had sold at that point maybe 18, 90,000 pounds worth of products at, at that point and it was at a crossroads. We were working day in and day out. I was working full time as an electrical engineer and then we were at home, myself and Kylie, we would, we would package all night with our daughter Harper in that December, she was gonna be one the following month and we'd just gone like five months of blood, sweat and massive action tears. All I was doing was working as an engineer, getting home and um, I would, we would be packaging, we would be buying, we'd be, we would be sourcing. I would do everything I possibly could. And we got to that crossroads where it was like, I've got to, what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we gonna do this for real? Are we gonna start a business? At that point, it was the VAT registration. I needed to, it was becoming real. We put a lot of money into the business. We had put a lot of sacrifice and to be brutally honest, it was one of those moments when you think to yourself, am I actually going to quit my job? And for me, I would, I'd worked eight years to be an electrical engineer, I'd got a first class degree in engineering. For me then to, six months into my business journey, to pack that all up. At the time, a lot of doubt, I was very fearful. Am I really going to put my family through this? Am I really going to be able to do this? Am I good enough? Am I 
Do I have it in me? Are we good enough? Are we making enough money in the business? Can we afford this? And doing all the calculations and working out what happens here and what happens there and what's going to happen in Q1, what's going to happen in Q2 and not knowing the future and all the cloud that it has. But do you know when there's something inside you where you think to yourself, I can, you can do this. Do you know when you've just got something in you that you were meant for more? You were meant to do something. And in your journey, you're gonna have, you're gonna have experiences where life's gonna test you. And they're gonna say, life is gonna test you and say, how much do you want this? Because you're gonna prove it now, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you a curveball. You're gonna, I'm gonna give you some adversity. I'm gonna give you some failures. You're gonna lose some money. You're gonna lose some time. You're gonna, you're gonna lose something. You're gonna go through experiences when you think to yourself, am I cut up for this? Can I do this? And I'm not gonna lie, it took me, it took me several days of walking up to my engineer's office, sweating. Everything going like a whole sort of whirlwind in my mind. Is this the right time? What does the future hold? What if this goes wrong? What if that goes wrong? And I knew that was the crossroads. Do I live? Do I go for everything that I've ever wanted? Do I go for it? Build the business? Do I take massive action and, and, and work for ourselves? Or do I stay where I am as an engineer? Do I continue to not see my family? Do I continue to be called out at night? Do I continue to not know whether we've got a pension when I'm 65 years old? Knowing that the average life expectancy of a steel worker is 67 years old. And something just kept on telling me I've got to do this. This is life testing me. Are you going to do this? Are you going to do this? Prove it. And you know what, because of that moment, walking into my engineer's office and telling him that, do you know what, we're gonna do this. And he was like, are you sure you're gonna do this? And are you gonna be able to survive? And I don't have all the answers. I've not got all the answers, but what I do know is I will give it absolutely everything I've got. And I remember when I handed in my notice and I walked out of my engineer's office. It was a sudden, the best way I can describe it, it was a sudden relief. It was like a, a weight had lifted off my shoulder. It was like a, I could finally breathe. That we've committed to do this now. And I don't know what the future holds, but I'm going to do it. And I'm gonna give it everything that I've got. And that's why it's all come, it's come a little bit full circle because over the last 12 months, it's been absolute, it's been surreal for me to meet people that have been wanting to come and travel up and see the warehouse and, and me just try to give everything I possibly can to inspire and motivate every day, trying to share with you how you can do this too. Whatever your goals are, whatever your visions are, whatever your circumstances, whether you've got money or you've got no money, whether you fully understand what you're doing in your business or you don't fully understand what you're doing in your business, whether you've, whatever situation you find yourself in, whether you've got a, people around you that don't believe in you, whether you've got people that are negative towards you, whatever your situation is, if you've got a voice inside you if, you, if you believe it that I can do this, then it's amazing what can happen to you in your life. And it completely blows my, my mind that people would travel all day, stay over the night before, put their money into staying at hotels to come here. Whether it's one person, 10 people, whether it's 100 people, it doesn't matter to me. To me, I, I think back at those moments in time when I, am I gonna start my business? Am I gonna put some money into the business? And that's life saying, I'm gonna challenge you. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Are you really gonna quit your job? That's you stepping up and saying, yes, I am. 
yes, you're going to do this. When we got out into the warehouse for the first time, and it was like, are you going to take this warehouse? It was life again saying, are you going to do it? Yes, I am. When, we, when I put the first event on, are we, am I going to do this? I'm going to put the first event on. Am I going to put the second event on? I'm going to put the third event on. Are you going to do this? Yes, I am. And the whole goal behind this is the thing that you fear the most is the thing that you have to do. Because when you face the fear, you will grow. You will learn so much more about yourself. You will learn what, what you're scared of, what you're not scared of. You're, human, you're a human being. You're supposed to be scared. You're supposed to be fearful. You're supposed to feel the emotion, the sweat, the... the, the the confusion, the adversity, you're supposed to experience everything because it's going to make you the person that you are. I am the person today because of the journey that we've taken, the adversity that we had, the moments in time when it was, are you going to quit your job? Are we going to do this? So wherever you are, I, wanna, I want to just personally say to you, you can do this. What you fear the most is most likely the thing you have to do the most. And as long as you're willing to give it your absolute best, as long as you're willing to give it blood, sweat and massive action tears every single day, that you never take life for granted, that you're always gonna stay humble to your roots, where you've come from, remember where you've come from and where you want to be. And that you're gonna take care of your family, you're gonna take care of your loved ones, and you're gonna do it without regret. So you get to when you're 40 years old, 50 years old, 60 years old, the day you're on your, your last breaths, you can look back without regret and you can say, I did it. I give it absolutely everything that I possibly had. And if it doesn't work for you, you can, you can keep your head held high. You can lift your chin up and say, do you know what, I did it. I give it everything. There's nothing more I could have done. And somehow, I genuinely believe this, somehow if you push yourself further than you've ever pushed before, when you commit the actions, those massive action steps that you never thought was possible, you will find yourself doing things that you never ever dreamed of doing. And you will grow as a person, you'll build the confidence, you'll build the momentum, you'll build the belief that no matter what happens, you will resolve, you will find the way. If you can't find the way, you'll make the way. And that is truly, what I've personally experienced in the, in the, in the first, in the last four, four or five years. That is honestly the thing I've experienced. My biggest takeaway has been, do it. Do it, face the fear and do it anyway. The, the thing you fear the most is the thing you have to do because doors will open up for you. You'll have experiences because of the, of the fear, the actions that you've taken. That's what will happen. As soon as you start to take action, other opportunities arrive. You'll, you'll be introduced to other ideas, you'll meet new people, you'll, you'll be able to, to interact with other people and share your story, what you've done, make an impact on other people, inspire people around you, inspire your, your friends, your, your, your family, and live life truly on your terms, the things that you love to do, whether it is go to school and watch your children grow, whether it is spend some time on the weekend walking the dog, whether it is just building something of, that you're passionate about, something that you can be really, really, you take pride on. And that all happened because of the day I quit my job and the day I, it was so, so fearful. And there were times when I, I, I went to do it and I couldn't do it. Because it's because it's something real. When you're fearful of something, it's because it's something that's meaningful for you. Something that you're afraid of, but I really want to express to you that you can do this. And you'll be amazed that you do. 
So I just uh, I was just taking a moment and I thought, you know what, I just want to capture my, my, my thoughts on the mastermind. Completely humbled by the guys that travel, whether it's 15 minutes, whether it's seven hours, I'm completely humbled by people willing to, to push their comfort zones and, and turn up, not knowing what to expect, but you know what, you're with like-minded individuals and it's been a pleasure to have you here. You guys that maybe didn't come, you're always welcome in the future. You guys that did come, it's honestly, it's one of the, the most amazing things that I could personally experience in my life. Obviously, I've got my family and I'm, you know, I love my family to pieces, but from a professional point of view, to be able to build my business, to try to inspire other people to, to continue their journey, to keep pushing through, trying to build any type of freedom, whether it is automation using virtual assistants, whether it is building your, your Amazon business, whether whatever it is, it doesn't matter whether it's you building your brand. You know, we had that, we had the brand building event yesterday. It was fantastic just to share what, what I've been able to do with the Life Success Engineer brand and it all comes down to taking massive action every single day. So my name's Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com. I wanted just to capture the moment and share the story of the day I quit my job and the, and the knock-on effect it has. Take care. Speak soon.